Greetings and welcome to my yummy kitchen 70 for the home of delicious yummy yummy dishes uh, and mouth watering. Today I've got a surprise because I've been surprised by my partner because I'm in love with fish nowadays. Now he surprised me with massive fish. I don't know the name of this fish but I would like to invite you all to join me in my kitchen so that I can also surprise him and surprise you all my subscribers, my viewers with uh, how I'm going to prepare this massive, um, nice looking fish. So join me in my kitchen so that we can grill this fish i'm going to grill it and i'm not gonna cut any pieces it will be whole grilled let's see what we are going to do don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and also watch the full video so that you can see what i'm going to do to this fish what seasoning what ingredients let's see this together thank you for watching and thank you for joining me what i'll do now i'm going to dry my fish using some kitchen roll I don't want it to be water because I've been cleaning this fish and I also cleaned with vinegar. So let's dry it. And then after finishing drying the fish, I will slice it. I've decided to make some slices. As you can see, it's a massive fish. So for it to taste nicely, I want the seasoning to get inside it's fresh so that it can taste yummy delicious mouth water and so so delicious as I said before look at the slices let's see what I'm gonna do afterwards have do you know the name of this fish please comment let me know the name of this massive fish i love it but i don't know the name i can eat any type of fish <laughs> try but some of them i don't know their names so drop a comment below and let me know the name it's not lapia so let's see what i'm gonna do next is about cutting all the ingredients Fortunately and unfortunately, I know how you everyone cuts onions and uh, garlic. So I already cut my onions and garlic and now I'm going to slice some fresh lemons. These ingredients will be used in this fish. I want to use lots, lots of ingredients. No, not this time but i know it's gonna taste delicious and you know the flavors and the juices this is what i'm looking for so watch me and uh, make sure you take note of every step don't be scared you can't prepare this massive uh fish so let's watch what i'm going to do next we'll now prepare a baking tray and add some seafood seasoning and then i will add some lemon and ginger seasoning after this i will add some black pepper then i will 
also make my fish a bit spicy and hot by adding cayenne pepper. Then uh, I will add some ingredients such as fresh garlic, onions, and uh, lemons and mix everything together with the seasoning check properly my method i'm gonna use this fish now it's time to marinate my fish this is where it gets tough but i want to make sure my fish has seasoning inside and outside so just watch how i'm seasoning it by massaging by also making sure all the sliced places are marinated some of the ingredients will go inside the fish and uh, i will make sure that they are just stuck inside the fish by also using some toothpicks to close the stomach of the fish. Don't forget to insert some fresh lemons in the places where you sliced guys that lemon juice and also the zest that flavor get this fish taste so delicious full of flavors and juices this is what we are looking for so keep on watching me i would like to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers returning not forgetting my new subscribers thank you very much for your support and love this means a lot without you the one be Miami kitchen 74 without you I won't be encouraged to be cooking almost every day but because of your support and love I enjoy cooking every day every morning showing you what i can do so why not subscribing because you can learn every day different recipe it might be the same food but there are different ways of cooking it or preparing it i may say that so please please tell your friend neighbor loved ones sister uncle auntie about this channel and ask them to subscribe let's grow this channel because we are trying hard every day why not subscribing remember we are not going anywhere now i even added some fresh parsley inside the fish as you can see on this video so that the flavors of fresh pasta will also give a hint to this fish wow already my mouth is running water because i know this fish will be the best now i'll add some olive oil before the fish goes in the oven and light soy sauce it's just the matter of making sure this fish is the best one and i know everyone will will enjoy the aftermath then not i won't forget to add a bit of salt i know some of the seasoning i've used have got salt but 
don't worry it's not gonna be saute now my fish is ready to go in the oven this process would take about one hour 45 minutes or one hour 50 minutes 250 degrees electric oven after one hour 45 minutes surprise surprise where are you honey come and see look at the aftermath of my massive grilled fish wow wow thanks for watching thanks so much have a wonderful day look at the juices wow 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 don't forget to subscribe like comment and share god bless you always thank you so much this fish is so tasty thank you thank you try this at home or your business place or try this at any event bye bye ciao bye